Good morning, folks. Today we're going to be looking at space weather here at Earth, solar activity, and a new source of flaring, Hurricane Debbie as it hits Florida, and two excellent papers on solar and geomagnetic health effects. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flares continue. This has been expected and is expected further this week with big new sunspots having complex magnetic configurations. The flares the last 24 hours were mostly impulsive, so we don't have any new significant CMEs. But the CME was already hitting Earth when we spoke yesterday morning, and at one point the magnetic field of the CME wake turned south and coupled with Earth's magnetic field causing a brief but significant disruption. Level 3 geomagnetic storm conditions developed. They are waning back to calm this morning. While scientifically significant, this event was not strong enough to be practically problematic for infrastructure or technological systems. But we've got eyes on our star for more. There's still a high number of active regions, and the newest visible sunspots are poised to flare some more. They've already done so this morning. That includes the very large sunspot group just now visible entering Earth-facing longitudes from the left. That region will not only be a significant area to monitor the remainder of the week, but as I said, it has already begun clearing its throat with some of those M-class flares. We will have eyes on it. Quick look next at Hurricane Debbie. The intensification continued, the northward track continued, and it is now battering the coastline with wind and storm surges while the heavy rain is spreading inland. Hopefully everyone in the region is hunkered down. Landfall in progress. First up in the articles today is this excellent one on cardiovascular disease and the various environmental forces that impact it. They end up hitting solar, cosmic ray, and geomagnetic factors in the work, confirming the numerous past studies suggesting that space weather energy plays a significant role in heart health. And yes, folks, the clot shot was bad, but this connection has also been known for a long time. There's more than one way to stop a beat. Last but not least, fantastic paper on magnetic field effect on melatonin production and impact on the body. In general, the application of that magnetic field is a good thing with positive effects vastly outweighing negative ones. The bad news is that as Earth's magnetic field weakens, taking that field away, that generally positive correlation flips around with potential impacts to neurogenesis and circadian rhythm disruption, among several others. A million small, subtle biophysical impacts of our changing geo condition. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.